This week, millions of American families have started getting their first round of monthly child tax credit payments. These payments are a part of a temporary expansion, which increases the amount of credit and it raises the age requirement to include 17 year olds and implements the option to get payments in advance. CPA Kimberly Washington, she joins us live to help out. If uh, here's a question, if some of you are dealing with these issues now, Kim, what should someone do if they qualify but haven't gotten their payment just yet? So the first thing you want to do is head over to the IRS.gov and you want to enter your information into the child tax credit update portal. This portal will provide information whether or not you're eligible. It will provide a listing of your recent payments and it also give you an option if you want to opt out of payments altogether. You can do all of that information through this portal. Now, what should someone do if they manage to get the incorrect amount? So remember, the IRS is basing on your previous tax returns. If you are a tax return, a person who's required to file. So they're going to look at either your 2020. If you have yet to file your 2020, they're going to look at your 2019. If you're someone where you had a lot of changes this year in 2021, let's say, for instance, if you just recently had a baby or maybe your income has declined or whatever the case may be, you can actually go again to IRS.gov. And you can update your current information so that you can get a different amount, especially if that amount now qualifies you for a higher child tax credit payment. Another thing that's common, what happens if someone's bank account information is changed during the last year? So remember, again, the IRS is going to use whatever it has on file to send your payment. And first, it's going to look to see whether or not it has your bank account information. If that information has changed or the IRS does not have that information, you can go and use that portal and update your banking information. If the IRS does not have your payment information, they're actually going to mail you a check. So if you want to receive a direct deposit, make certain you head over to IRS.gov. All right, last question. What if the child tax credit portal shows a payment's been sent out, but that person hasn't received it yet? So if you're someone and you're looking and you see that the payment has been processed, but it has yet to hit your bank account, you haven't received it in the mail, you want to first give it some time first. And after you give it some time, you can actually request what's called a payment trace. This trace is a tool used by the IRS where it can actually look and locate and find out where did that payment actually go. You have to use a form. It's called Form 3911, and you have to submit that that form rather to the IRS and that way they can start the process. I just tweeted it out a little bit a while ago so that if someone's looking for it, they can follow my Twitter account at Kimson's to find that form. A very good account to follow, especially when you need some clutch information. Thank you so much, Kim. We appreciate it. Now you can find more information about the child tax credit right now on WDSU.com or our free mobile app. We also have details from Kim answering your questions about how the enhanced payments will play out this year.